Today marks one year since unrest erupted in Sherman Park. It started when a Milwaukee police officer shot and killed a man who had been armed and took off running during a traffic stop. A crowd gathered in protest and as tension grew, chaos spread throughout the neighborhood. Cars were smashed and set on fire. Some businesses were looted and also torched. In the year since, there's been a push for community togetherness and revitalization efforts there are gaining momentum. However, crime and violence are still problems. Just last month, two children and two adults were shot in the Sherman Park neighborhood. But as Julia Fellow shows us, a group of diverse and committed residents are doing what they can to stop the negative forces. One year ago today, this BB gas station was the first of many businesses to go up in flames. Many warm hearts stepped up after this happened, including a patrol group that had ceased to exist back in the 90s. The Sherman Park Citizen Patrol works with police by driving around and observing anything they see suspicious. You do not leave your vehicle. Um, the idea is just ears and eyes for the neighborhood. All of them volunteer their time for one simple reason. I would say this is our neighborhood and we need to take it back. Rabbi Hirsch Hiller had been wanting to bring back the Sherman Park Citizen Patrol. The unrest one year ago Sunday spurred more people to help him make that happen. It's not the community here that is causing the problem. The Citizen Patrol is working with the city to put speed bumps in a portion of 51st and 54th streets. By next month, they want to curtail people from speeding and running stop signs where children play. And, uh, and jumping curbs, it's, it's, been, it's been troubling. They also helped install surveillance cameras in area alleys. And those are really just meant to be a deterrent. Uh, a lot of activity happens in the alleys and nobody knows what happens. Their goal is also to simply get to know their neighbor. Small steps they hope will mean big changes for their neighborhood. If you would like to sign up for a 90 minute patrol, you can learn more in this story on TMJ4.com. In the Sherman Park neighborhood, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4.